Maybe you've heard of the legend of Granny Bird and her prize winning jam. But I bet you haven't heard her secret. Those who have know the best thing to do is... RUN! Alrighty, so a very special thank you to Dustin Young from Carowinds Fans Only um, for allowing us to use his footage and always giving us footage for Carowinds Construction Updates. Uh, so Carowinds Fans Only got a huge construction tour at Carowinds, um, so they got really up close and personal. I'm going to try and cram in as much knowledge um, that they got from today into this video as possible. It is a little shorter of a video, so I'm just going to get right into it. So... Dodgem, Southern Star, Yo-Yo, and Plants vs. Zombies will not be included in Blue Ridge Junction. It will be rethemed at a later time. The new Blue Ridge Country Kitchen will have more seating on the right side of the building. The porch will remain and possibly be on the right side as well, but they're not fully sure. The games in front of Copperhead Strike will be removed and the arcade will get a makeover. The Coke Stand and Icy Station will be torn down and a new building will be built to combine them. Windseeker is now closed for the rest of the season, as it's now a Christmas tree, as noted earlier. Intimidator will not be rethemed. They actually extended the contract with Dale Earnhardt, Incorporated, and it will get a new paint job in the next few years. Locker building for Copperhead Strike will be located near Dodgems, and there are blue and white markings. Uh, not sure on the exact height, but Steve said the loop is about 70 to 75 feet tall. The highest point in the top is the top hat at 82 feet. Copperhead Strike and Mountain Glider will both be open for Winterfest 2019. Carolyn specifically asked for a coaster that can run in the cooler weather and Copperhead can do it. Track is scheduled to be completed by mid-December, but they hope to be done earlier, depending on whether the footers will be completed by then. They get If they get behind, they will make up time on Saturdays. Testing will start in January. But yeah, hopefully um, you guys enjoy this footage. So he gets really up close and personal and gets some really awesome shots up close with the track. So again, a huge thanks to Carolyn's fans only. I'll link them down below and at the end of the video. Uh, definitely go check them out. Um, Copperhead is off to an amazing start. So they're already starting station work. This is very different from Yukon Striker. So as you can see, the station platform and building structure is actually going up. The loop is going up. The launch is done. The brake run is put in. Um, the only difference is I don't think they have any electrical whatsoever, whereas Yukon Striker's electrical is going in full force. Um, Yukon Striker uh, theming isn't starting yet because the contract was just signed, from what I understand, and they are going for forward with that as of about a week and a half ago, two weeks ago. Um, so that's interesting. Um, not much else going on. Again, they have a lot of work going on. They just announced uh, Mountain Gliders, uh, I believe the name is. Uh, it looks beautiful. I was actually really impressed with how they could make just a simple um, <laughs> flat ride look so beautiful. Um, I, I really want to see this theming at Cedar Fair in general, and I really think Carowinds may actually have the better theming package. I have to wait and see what Canada's Wonderland has under their belt. I know they said there's some secrets that they're holding and waiting for, so we'll see. Um, but I'm definitely really enjoying what Carolyn's has to offer. Now, this is where I'm going to ask for your guys' help. So again, I'm not, my home park is not Carolyn's. I'm in Canada. Um, what is this building? Uh, to me, if it looks like the hotel. It looked really small, though, so I'm kind of shocked. Is this the hotel for anyone that can help me out? Um, let me know. But this definitely looks like the hotel for Carowinds that's being built. So that's pretty far along as well compared to Wonderland. They haven't even dug ground yet. Um, and then here's some shots of track. So hopefully you guys really uh, enjoyed this update. Thanks again to Carowinds fans only. Um, hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't, and share this video for others to enjoy. And as usual, thanks for watching, guys, and have a good one. Bye.